Oh, okay. Yeah, that dude right there is a possible. Uh, Ramla, one of the head of possible GMS. And they'll go into it and break it down. That's right here, too. GMS Lions. They go in the tube. 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 into with the brother you know about you know the nephilim right 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 got you right here right here okay yeah my brother was you know asking about uh the nephilim the book of enoch you know just kind of edify Right. right. Because we know the book of Enoch goes off just contrary to the scripture. You know what I'm saying? Just like it says, like, the book of Enoch says the angels slept, we came down and slept with warm women. It says Moses is a, I believe it says white and red. And doesn't it right. talk about the ones that rebelled and came and taught men? Yeah, it says the they came yep. and taught men the weaponry and yep. came and taught women how to wear makeup and all yep. this other crap. Give me first, give me how um, to do sorcery and magic. Yeah, that's madness. Give me, um, Psalms 103. Psalms 103. Yeah. Psalms 103. Psalms 103 and um. You stay with you stay with yours, Daniela. Psalms 103 and. One second. Uh. Psalms 103 and 19. Psalms 103 and 19. Yep. The Yahweh hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Is that the one you want? Yeah, keep going. keep going. Bless the Most High, ye his angels, yep. that excel in strength, right. that do his commandments. That do what? That do his commandments. Now break the commandments of the Lord. Hearkening unto the voice of his word. Right. At what they hearkening into the voice of his word. Yeah. Now even Satan, we deal with Satan, right? I'm gonna say Satan. Satan. Satan's going to Satan is going to Satan, right? Mm -hmm. He is uh, he is the he's angry on the left hand side. But right? so he obeys the Lord too. I, I think it took all the pressure off Then he did. Uh oh. Then he did. When he fell. And then that one was that two creatures in the fire? Okay, let's get this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Where are we going? Let's just get it. Oh, I'm sorry. When he won't cast out. Who's ever cast out? Okay, I got, I got a key in that spirit. I'm going to bring out the priest. Whenever cast out. And you, and you, and you know what to pull up. It's a couple we can get. Oh, he can couple. Okay, let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let me, let me. Let's get, let's get one more real quick. Give me, sorry, give me, uh. Wait a minute. We got to break it down for you, man. He saw Satan fall like a bolt of lightning. We're going to tell you. Okay. Okay, we're going to get it. That's why you're up there, man. That's why I'm here. Let's get one more about the angels. Give me Sirach 16 and 28. Then we're going to leave off and get it. Is that the one I was about to get? Which lay on sword strokes? No, you want Sirach 39. Get Sirach 16. I got 39. Go ahead, read it. Hey, this is the book of Ecclesiastes or Sirach 39 and 28. Yeah. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, right. which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Uh -huh. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the, the wicked angels are doing the will of the Most High. Uh -huh. yeah, about to, yeah, about so ain't no, you know, yeah, they do their uh, wicked angels. But they were created, created to do, to do that. that on the left hand side. Right. And there's another account. First Kings 22. You know what I'm about to get into now. I think First Kings 22. Okay. Okay. First Kings 22. Let's get it. Sirach 16, read that. Sirach chapter 16. We'll slow down so you can take notes, bro. 
Nah, because okay. as long as it's on there, uh, I can go back. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sirach 16, 28. This is Sirach chapter 16, verse 28. Yeah. For a city there shall be ten left, uh -huh. and the two of the and two of the field, and shall hide themselves in the thick grove. Sirach, bro, you in Edgar. Sirach. Ah, Sorry, it's a lot. <laughs> got a question, my brother, for them? Sirach 16, 28. I got it. Okay, bro. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 16, verse 28. Right. Now, what we're going into right now is we're showing a brother that our angels, I don't know what you Hear me, bro? They say like angels rebel against the Lord. You ever heard that before? That's what we're going into to prove that the angels don't rebel against the Lord. I go. I said, none of them hindereth another, uh -huh. and they shall never disobey his word. See, they don't disobey, they disobey the word of the Lord. You see? So if there's another book out there saying that angels rebel against the Lord. That's all. That's all. We don't know what to do. We got too many precepts to back up that the angels is a full order. You know what I mean? I, I the, the create, okay, now we got the creator that's mm. going to create everything when it still had no, no control, no control over, over his yeah. creation. Yeah. Yeah. What? That you ain't Satan sitting in the background just like, look, man, look. When he going to sleep, we about to roll out, go down to the earth and get these women and do whatever we want. Huh? <laughs> it, 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 says, it says the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 right. 10, times brighter than the sun. And behold, of all the wickedness of man, right? Yeah. We can see everything. Yeah. We paraphrase. Yeah, man, you can see everything. Ain't no, ain't no pulling the wool. And okay. you can't slick the slick the. Yeah, man. you can't get past in those times. Right? At all, man. You know everything. You know what's going done in secret in your mind, man. In your heart. Okay. Well, he says, "I know you when you were created in the womb." That's right. You had that first thing. Yep. Twenty-two and nineteen. Uh, yep. First Kings 22 and 19. Now this is uh, this is a, uh, this is a, um, this is a king named, a king, a wicked king named Ahab, Ahab right? So now, what is about to, go about to go into, like we were saying earlier, he got that man named to do these things which people perceive to be wicked. Right. Which all of the judgments of the Lord are right. Yeah. All right, so this is First Kings uh, 22 and 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the, of the Lord. I saw the Most High sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him uh -huh. on his right hand and on his left. Right, right hand and on the left. Go yep. ahead. With the left representing the wicked. Right. And, and the Most High said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? Now he asked the angel, I like, come so, to Who's going to go persuade Ahab? Mm -hmm. So that means he can go ahead. And one said on this manner and another said on that manner. So now they're going back and forth like, you know what? Um, I'm, I'm going to try to persuade on this way. I might have to and there came forth a spirit and stood before the Most High and said, I will persuade him. And the Most High said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. This is the angel of the Lord. He's saying, look, he's breaking down how he told the Lord, well, look, this is how I'm going to persuade Ahab. I'm going to go forth with the lying prophet. I'm going to tell Ahab that he's going to go up and he's going to win this battle. But I'm deceiving Ahab so he can get destroyed in this battle. Oh Lord, I'll go up there and I'll tell him all everything he wants to hear. He's going to go up and die. That's right. what the Most High said. Right. He said, and he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. That's the, this is the Lord. The go Lord forth said, and do so. Go forth. Go ahead. Handle that for me. Yep. That's it. my life with this, this is how the Lord gets down. When we say Yahweh is the controller of all things, we mean it. This is what the scripture says. Ooh, ooh, That's why I tell you not to lean upon your own understanding. Lean upon your own because he has complete control. Yeah. But he's doing this for his purpose. So, oh, right. We can't say why why did he I mean if he's in control, why did he do that? Yeah. Why did he let make us go out? Because he wanted to. That ain't your business to be getting into. All you need to worry about is is you in on his good side or not. Because right. he will fuck you up. That's all you need to worry about. Everything else is extra, man. That's, 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 that's unnecessary. I did 45 and 7. I got it right here. This is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. Right. Well, let me start at verse 6. It says that ye may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord Yahweh, and there is none else. Right. Uh, chapter, verse 7. I form the light, 
not create darkness. Right, so this is the Lord saying, I form a light and I create darkness. Go ahead. I make peace and create evil. And what, what, who do it? Mm. I, the Lord, do all these things. So it's the Lord that does all these things. Mm. The Lord does it all. Everything, he controls everything that's in his hands. He controls it all. So when they say the Lord, the, the, Lord, is, the Lord is all love. Well, the Lord said he created peace and evil. And darkness. Everything. Because you get him a pen. Yeah, get him a pen. That was a little more yeah. on that on that Sirach yeah, that I read right. earlier. Yeah, you stopped earlier. I stopped earlier. I'ma get to the point on that Sirach. Let me get a piece of real quick. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read one up and then let's get you know. this real quick. Proverbs 11 verse 1. It says, A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. So if you're saying the Lord has all love, that's a false balance. See? This is all love, that's a false balance. The Lord says. A false balance is abomination. See, but we have to understand that the Lord does all things. What He does, that's His purpose. We, who, who are we to question the Lord? You know, in that perspective, like Lord, why are you doing it? I'm gonna know what. I can the vessel say on the He that formed it. Why am I thus? Why am I right in Romans? Romans. And that, and that's one of the things that Job was kind of going off in because he was like. Lord, you might, why would you let me be born? You might as well have let me die. So we got to, and we have to understand this because growing up as a child, right? We were taught so much, so much, so much. Uh, yeah, see. We were deceived, we were deceived, we were deceived for so long where yeah. I thought that the Lord was just completely loved. Uh, and that's just like the bar, you know, well, most of us didn't have fathers, but a father figure, right? He's just completely loved. No matter whatever you do, he's just going to be like, you can do whatever, you don't okay, get chastised. It's okay, just, son. You know, whatever, you don't install no type of fear in you where it's like, when I tell you don't do this for a reason, don't do it. This is all love. Like, my dad told me you with your friend. My dad told me to be out with you like. But he don't care. You know, all he's gonna do is love me and hug me anyway. He ain't gonna really put no dad time on me, so I gotta listen. I'm still coming to the house two in the morning. He ain't gonna lie. I'm just gonna do it again. Yeah, you ain't gonna respect me. You ain't gonna Right. That's the key word. You ain't gonna respect. You're not gonna reverence him. You're not gonna fear him. Because what well, ain't no consequences. Right. What you scared of. And so when they teach you that. Our people then go and do what they what they want to do because there's no fear of the Most High. Right. They don't know that He'll jack you up. Yeah, because He used everyone to like He used the Pharaoh. He used Pharaoh. Oh yeah. Like and he hardened Pharaoh's heart. Yep. Yep. He hardened Pharaoh's heart so that what His name could be exalted. Yep. You see. So everybody can know on the earth that hey, it was the, the, the God of Israel, the God of Israel, and Jacob to deliver these people out of captivity. Um, I got Proverbs 1 verse 7 it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and destruction so the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord because when you start to understand from the fear of the Lord you start to say you know what I can't I, I need to start doing what the Lord says you know the best I can I'm not going to do this I'm not going to do that I'm going to try to do it as you say as the best I can but we know that we're in captivity and we can't do do it all right okay so we're, we're in a world where it works for the but that does, not, that does not give us the reason to just say, you know what? Just whatever, Lord. I know I'm a guy too, so I can't keep it away. But certain things you can't keep. You can go to the store and say, I can choose out of this and that. You can not can. get pork and unclean meat. Right, right. You can grow your beef. You can grow your hair. Even if you have a job that prevents it, you can try to get another job that will allow you to. Right. So there's different things that we can do. No. Okay. Uh, um, it, it took me a minute. There, there was a brother that I, I work with. He kept pointing it to me. Every day, every day, every day. And we started praying about it. This thing you know, it was like, I went to eat these spaghetti and it made me sick. Oh. Like, all right, all right, I hear you. I hear you. I'm done. 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 i am done 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 Pork and shrimp and crab and lobster. You got people that don't smoke, right? It's not all cases, but most cases people 
is on smoke and they got cancer because they're dying. Yep. Not only because the pollution that we're breathing in and we're, and we're getting, we're drinking these plants and water bottles and the pollution that they make for us, right? But it's from our diet. Pay attention to that. You know? Diet. It's like these brothers are teaching y'all. And it's not hereditary because people use that too. What's well, hereditary? No, it's not. He can change the diet. But that's an excuse people use to continue. Yeah, I, I did a little study thing trying to find out the issues with corn. Right. And I came across uh, pigs eat rotted flesh like vultures do. Yeah, like vultures. And that what they eat stays in their system. Yep. Yeah. So when you eat fat. rotted flesh, and they eat rotted flesh, you eat their corn. That's what you're eating. They don't have a way to properly dispel toxins. Right. And Everything right. they eat stays in their flesh. Right. That's, that's and exactly in their fat. what the, the thing was saying. And, and so, and they also, they have a, they have a, a stomach that's like it similar to yours. They don't sweat right. either. They do not sweat. So they keep everything inside of them. And, and just another quick so you can bring your scripture all sloppy. That Esau knows that we, give, give me um, Isaiah 59. Esau knows that we continue to stand that we're going to be a more power. So he wants to keep us on that level. Yep. So that's why they push that, that, that wickedness to our people. When you look at commercials, what do you see the most? Yeah. When he's with all the bacon commercials, yeah. right? Mick Rick, well, they don't, I don't see Mick Rick. Well, oh, they had them a lot. The right? Baconator. But well, besides the bacon, get, get, get the stuff scans, get the, get the, the 29, 29, I don't know how they say it, you know, but get the stuff, get this. But why did they say that? Because what Esau did is he put the trick, and he got our people believing that. When I was in the world, I thought that he lost his Big. Really, we were fooled because that's that's the cheapest thing you could get was a lobster and all that. But they right. give it to our people. Hey, this is the delicacy, right? Top here. commodity. This is the top commodity. You jack up the price and then make you believe that it's you know complete wickedness. And it's easy, but it's more accessible to get. But it does the same thing to pig food. It gives you the Jesus. It does the same exact thing because when you want to you want you want to see why the oceans are dirty. Guess what? Because our people are eating, we're supposed to clean the ocean. Yep. Not talking, we're talking about like the litter. We're talking about, you know, the, the, the fecal matter the fecal and stuff. Fecal matters that and everything that, the, uh, what is it, the, the uh, muscles, the clown. Muscles? Muscles, muscles the clown. eat, muscles eat with the, with the bowel. They suck in the, uh, they suck in the water, then they shoot out clean water. They basically it filters out. They eat the little particles that's Didn't in the water. That. So that's why when you see if you see certain certain people with oh, fish, man, certain people with fish, they use. They don't they don't get nobody to fish out the fish plenty of fish. They just the things that can actually go in the things that look like a catfish that be stuck in the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shrimp, you throw the shrimp in here, that clean it. Now hey, you're still cleaning. But uh, they know all of this. This is our people don't know that. But go ahead, bro. I don't want to stop that one. Yeah, we can't. Yeah. Isaiah, Isaiah 59. Isaiah 59. 2. And verse 2. It says, but one. Right. This is Isaiah 59, verse 1. Right. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, uh -huh. that it cannot save. Right. Neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. Yeah. But your iniquity has separated between you and your power. And your sins have hidden his face from you that he will not hear. Right. So that's what's separating us from our power. And even when we read in the book of Judah, she said the same thing. You know, that the nations know us that they keep us from getting the sin, and we're going to be away from our power. You got the floor, bro. Yeah, that's right, you know. And uh, I'm going to get a precept after. I just want to put the final nail in the top. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, you know. That works, yeah. Final nail in the coffin that the angels don't rebel, all right? Uh, Ecclesiastes 39, I'm starting at 30. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice. So there's a spirit that comes behind you. When an animal attacks and kills somebody, so let's continue. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time comes, they shall not transgress his word. They do not disobey. Alright, so let's get this other preacher. Yeah. Yeah. You see them little different uh, articles when like lions grab and kids down, pop them. You know, whatever they do, they're doing a little nailing or something. 
do it yet. But in our ads, when we take it there, we say, well, that's just the baby that's in the south, but the north. The north track is here. Here. Here in that place. In our ads, we look at the north, the baby is there, but the spirit in that south is with the spirit. And it was serving their punishment here on earth. That's what it was. Let me get that into the video. Get it. Go ahead. We're going to back up everything we say. Go ahead. with the brother um, quoted in Judah. Yeah, okay. Right. What is it? What is Judah's what? Five. And uh, let me start it. Uh, I'm going to get to the point as quick as possible. All right, five and twenty. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error against this people, now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error against this people, and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin, and let us go up, and we shall overcome them. Verse 21, but if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their power defend them, and their God before them, and we become a reproach before all the world. Like the brother was saying, and those that keep us in sin, they can continue to uh, step on us, man. And destroy us. And they're like, like they are doing. They are doing. Like they have been ordained and, and, and allowed to do because of our iniquity. But what we're doing right here is this is the Lord. When you, when you look at these Esau, the police, they rather see us in stuff for the big organ back and forth. Oh, you know, you're around it. They're like, that's an attainment. But then they're like, oh, they try, they try to bring brothers back and forth. Well, they don't know it in that way. Every quickly when you go up, up the way with them, so yeah. we gotta deal with it, you know. Yep. All right, this is all right. Uh, what we were going to earlier, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 16. Right, but more, moreover, I saw under the sun uh, the place of judgment, right? The wickedness was there, the righteousness was there. Okay. So, going into that, under the sun, the place of judgment, what's under the sun? The earth. So when you when you uh, uh when you commit iniquity in, in your life, right, you go go back up to the spiritual realm and you get judged for what you're doing and then you serve your punishment on earth. So say uh, say someone was like uh, say someone was like this big, like mighty strong man, but he's like doing all manners of wickedness, the Lord as a judgment makes you come back as a midget and have people like uh, 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 ridicule him all his life. Make, basically making his life like a living hell. That's why it says, uh, the place of judgment is under the sun. Oh, right, yeah, this is the place of judgment. So that's that's an understanding of when it talks about, uh, basically, uh, it's the point of the one, command to die, and then the judgment. Because you die, and then when you come back on the earth, you play out what the judgment was. Uh, a good example is, you see that be a little verse in the scripture, uh, where there was a man who was born blind, and he was then he asked the question, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he just said he was born blind? The answer given was um, neither, but so that the most high power could be shown on the planet Earth. So why would he ask who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? How could he sin that he was born blind to receive that sin? Because in his previous life, there's a possibility that you can sin and be judged in your next life. And they knew that, and they knew reincarnation, because it ain't reincarnation. Reincarnation is basically you go to the spirit world, right? Your, 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 your body goes to the ground, your spirit goes back to the spirit goes back to the spirit world, and then follows like a third world generation. But you come back in another body with the same spirit. That's what takes place. I got a second Corinthians 5 verse 8. It says, that's, I never I never knew the reason. We go. We're gonna bring it to you and we're gonna show you right after this scripture, right? Go go get the one where it says uh 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 Yahweh Shower. Elias for the time. 
That one right there. You about to get it. The second Corinthians five verse ten it says, "For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad." What was that? Second Corinthians five verse ten. I mean, Second Corinthians five verse ten. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. For a must be on good knowing things. Matthew 17 and 4. Then answered Peter and said unto Yahweh Shai, um, Lord, is it good for us to be here if thou would let us uh, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Eli? So you can show the situation. But it's down further. It's actually, it is down further. Is that the one that says, who did you say, who, who you say that I am? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's the one I wanted. Oh, well, let me see. All right, Remember Matthew 17 and 9. And, and they came down from the mountain. Yeah, how was I charged him saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead? And his, and his disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the scribe that Elias must first come? Then yeah, how was I answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elias has come already, and they knew him not, but they but have done unto him whatsoever they listened. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. Yeah, that's one right there. So John the Baptist was Elijah in the reincarnation. And they and he didn't have to tell them, oh, this, this is verbatim. Then they understood that John the Baptist was, was uh, Elijah. Wow. So they already knew about reincarnation. This is a common thing to them. Yep, yep. That's why they knew off the rip when he said, yeah, Elijah already came, bro. Oh, he oh, talking man. about John. Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Or one of the prophets. They was all talking about it. 
They was all going back in. But go ahead. What, what, what's that say? Uh, and it says, uh, verse 15. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? But whom do you say that I am? Right? Go ahead. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art Hamashiach, the son of the living power. Right. Now, why didn't you have, why didn't you have a shot say to them, What are y'all talking about? Right. Why didn't he correct them like, Oh, oh, what are y'all talking about? He will come back. What, 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 man? I don't get it. He didn't have to say it to him. Because that would have been going off. They hit him like, so you know how Shia do everything. So they hit him like, whoa, hold on. I mean, what, 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 are, what is making y'all say? But that was fun that. They knew that. So that's why people were saying, fun and cold. He was like, okay. No, I guess you're mine. Oh, no, he might be going to bad. There was a scripture I wanted to hear. Okay. Um, actually, this is chapter 20, verse 5. It says, Thou shalt know, shalt uh, not thou thyself thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord Yahweh, thy power and the jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate that yeah. hate. Yep, so he brought that up dealing with uh dealing with it, um, how people come back, how people are judged the third and fourth generation. Yeah. Yeah. By that third and fourth generation, you yeah. are born again. Yep, so you suffer for what yeah. like I was saying, uh, like you went into uh, Ecclesiastes 3, the place of judgment is the earth. So the Lord will judge you from the past, from what you did in the past. That's why he started to say that right there. Give one more, give one more. You got it? Yeah, yeah. This is Mark 6 and 14. And King Herod heard of him, for his name was spread abroad. And he said that John the Baptist was risen from the dead. And therefore, mighty work do show forth yeah, himself. Yeah, they did say that. Yes, he did. Yeah, oh. Others said that it is Elias. And yeah. others said that it is a prophet or as one of the prophets. Yeah. But when Herod heard thereof, he said, It is John who might be headed. He is risen from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's a cold cut, bro. Yeah, it sure is. They're all, they're, they're all they're like, right. Hey, he like, man, hey, no, John. No, that's John, bro. <laughs> Every John. Everything has got to be John. <laughs> <laughs> I be I be sitting around studying, man. I be like, how? Are I mean, you just you just can't put words on how powerful he is. Nope. I mean, you just yeah. I mean, it's just my and one of my other has always been how could I not see this before? How could how how is it that they don't nobody sees it? Uh, I mean, I, I, nobody sees it. I say six and nine. Right? I mean, and you know what? This is also going into what we were talking about the angels on the left hand and the angels on the right too. Because the point, well, everybody gets their gets, has it, gets, Everyone has their own appointment time. Right? So the Lord believes you blind for a minute so you can make it to age you at and then you fly. Just so you might experience some certain things that you might be a testimony to younger brothers or Another brother, uh, uh, yeah. 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 Right, right, right. So basically, he's just preparing us for what he wants us to do. Yeah, in that aspect, yeah, that's true. Right? And then it also uh, talks about wisdom walking with a man through crooked pathways before she may trust him with her wisdom. So you might get introduced to something, and then you know she'll take you through a process with him, she'll take you through a process. But if you endure through that process, then she will. Part of you with them, but then you begin to live. And you say it started one area, you still eat pork, you know, the most high removed that from you, you moved on, you do this, you get to the next level, you get to the next level, and then you start opening your understanding more and more mm -hmm. to the next thing you know. Because I used to have long hair, that's the scripture you're talking about, bro. So I was like, you know what, just for, for, the, for, the, for the sake of the, of the body, I'm cutting that too. I was on my way to growing longer hair, I was on my way to get dressed. So I found out we have those on. From you on, you get a fancy haircut. You stop doing it. Now. You just think certain things we just knew we had to put off. Right, right. Just through the spirit. As you increase, you like, you know what? I want to do the most out of command more and more. So next thing you know, you keep on to the best you'll do. Let's follow. Isaiah 69. This is Isaiah. Yeah, you know. uh, mm -hmm. This is Isaiah 69. Yeah. And he said, Go and tell this people, hear ye indeed. But understand not, right? See ye indeed, but perceive not. 
Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and, uh, and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. The Lord's walking us. The Lord's walking us. They can't, they can't see the spiritualness of what we're doing just like how he did with Pharaoh's heart. Or in the ear, and that can get hard into it. Well, he was a heathen. He was a heathen. He was a But what he's doing with our people is same thing. He's hard in their heart. He's, but he's walking their, he's walking their spiritual ass. He's walking their spiritual ears. The people, they can hear what he's saying. You know, and they can see what we're doing, but it's, to them it's just like, it's cool. is, that, is that what that just said? Hear ye indeed, but yeah. see yeah, not yeah. and receive ye in here. Yeah. If, you, if you read up here in 8, uh, if you read up here in 8, it says, Also I heard a voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And, they, uh, and then said I, Here I am, send me. Right? So, angel. Angel. He was in the spirit, like, like we read uh, uh, with Ahab. To be alive, yeah, yeah, he said, spirit in the mouth of the prophet. He said, Here I am, send me. <laughs> go ahead, no, I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do ready. your will, Lord. Let's go. go. go yeah, um, it's a lot. it says, uh, and then, uh, uh, verse 11, then said, I, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitants, and the houses without men, and the land be utterly desolate. That's how long are people gonna be. Two thirds, two thirds. Yeah. But 144,000, which are the men, the teachers, the prophets, right? And the, and the rest of the one third, they're not going to be, they're not going to be blinded. You know, because they got, you got the women, you got the children, friends of the prophets and such, you know, or help, helpers, believers. They all fit into that category, that one third category. You know, so they're not blinded. They might not be teaching, you know, but through the men of the Lord teaching, they believe, you know, uh, you know, women say the childbearing, you know, there's different things. You know, the husband's the best way to do things of that nature. The elect don't pick up their cross and come from the past and everybody got their own different office and, that, and, and walk with the most high. But they're going to walk that, they're going to walk that, that, uh, that position of difficulty that straight with you. Right? And all the men in the Lord is going to be doing what? Singing a new song. Yep. Nobody, right. nobody's going to have their instrument all tune. You, 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 you don't want a band and there's just somebody all beat. Or somebody marching, or so yeah, or somebody marching, and they just add a what's it called? Add a thing. I don't know. What they what they call choreography or something. Choreography. And people gonna be at the, on the stands looking at them like, what the hell is this? I don't order and doing. Everybody going this way. He marching this way. Ah, oh, no. Look at now. Nah. Everybody got singing one song. Right. So right. end off on yours, bro. Right. Just to chime in with that, it's all gonna be the same song. They ain't got different ways. The, the trumpet makes a certain sound, but it's all going together with the song, the tuba, right. you know, the, the violin, all these different things, you know, because the brothers got different schools, but it's all saying the same thing. Right. right. It's all saying the same thing. It's all flowing beautifully together. No skipping. No off notes. You know what I'm saying? All right, so this is going to be the last one. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blind. Right, so well, as a whole, our nation, our nation is doing pretty cool. See, but two thirds of them have been blinded. Why? So they wouldn't be converted and healed. That's another, that, right there, that, that shows a lot of fear and, and, and the blessings that the Lord bestowed upon you, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, yeah. because it shows like the Lord truly doesn't want two thirds of our people converting back to Him and healed at all. At all, so what is he not going to heal them for? They're going to be destroyed. But they will see them in the kingdom in their right mind, though. Right. Mm -hmm. But even that whole process is being destroyed here. Oh, oh, no, boy. City, city be desolate. You know, when you put a mission, the city destroyed it. Correct. Yeah, right. And, and, and ultimately, even these niggas walking around here, they don't know, they're still going to go through the world. Yeah. Hey, like the church is saying, right now, we haven't even gotten the bad, bad stuff oh. yet. What? Right, just from the straight things. Come to that, <laughs> Righteous stuff the straight things and hope for why wicked stuff up in the straight things and they won't look for no reward. But that but that but at them times, that's when you're too faithful. That's when it's gonna come in. They're gonna say, okay, I, I don't know how the situation will go, but it's gonna be a situation where we might not have to eat for two days. Three days. So, you know, even though in a spiritual a spiritual aspect, fashion is very beneficial to our body. And get closer to the heavenly father, right? Yeah, how about you have a shot? You know, but it's, it's good to, 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 to put your body through it because 
those on day two today, we might not be eating. But through the faith, hey, it says what the Lord um, the is saying. It's not that you're not thirsty. So for one and only, so eventually we'll be coming here. Yeah. But, but, you know, hey. Yeah. But, yeah. So we hope this, uh, hope this lesson was edifying. Right, because it's about to close. Like, we're going to give all praise and honor and glory to the Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaqadash. Of honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations to you, brothers, to the four.